Hey, today we're going to be going over uh, design and analysis software for the Quant Studio 5. I'm going to show you how to create a method in less than two minutes. All right, let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click create new experiments. Over here, you put the name of the method. So let's just do PCR method. Doesn't matter. You mention your, your system that you're using, the block type. Normally, you'd leave it in standard curve. There's other options in here, but Standard curve is the main one. With chemistry, it's normally other, unless you're using Tacman reagents, and then the run mode is generally standard. And then let's go next. Okay, over here, you put your experiment method. This is the volume of the reaction. So if you have a 20 microliter reaction, there you go. These, this is in the beginning part is your RT step. And then over here are your cycles. Over here is where you specify the number of cycles. So 40 is pretty typical. And make sure this camera icon here is highlighted. It's pretty important. There's other aspects of the method that you can tweak with, like these advanced settings, but they're not too common. We'll go over that in a different video. Lastly, if you go up to action over here and you click optical filter settings, you can specify which filters or which channels you'd want to use. So if you're using FAM and rocks, you, you'd know which filters to turn on and off. Okay, and then next. In this next section, we're gonna define the plate. Over here, what you wanna focus on is the passive reference. Generally, with methods for COVID, it's none, but you have to see if there is a passive reference. That's pretty significant. And then I like to go into advanced setup. Over here, um, we're gonna specify the targets. Let's click add, and then we'll call this one Gene A, the reporter. You can select which dye you're using. Here we're using fan, it's pretty good, most common one. And then we can add another one. We'll call this one control, right? Maybe that will be a rocks. But here's where you specify your targets. And then if you wanna select the whole plate, you select here and you just check these two, voila. And the whole thing's selected, easy peasy. Over here, we wanna specify our samples. So you could specify your negative control media or positive control media here. For instance, if this is like NCM, we could select that and then say this is A1 is what I wanted to specify. I can click that. I can double click here and it can change them to negative control. Um, for positive control, you could specify, you can specify positive control or you can just leave it as an unknown and you can always process that later. So we're getting pretty close. Finally, let's go into the next step. This is where the run is. You're pretty much done at this point. You can just click the start run here. You'll, it'll prompt you you'll have to enter the name. You could save that as your template and you're ready to go. And then in the future, if you wanted to open up that template, you clicked file, you click new experiment and you go experiment from template and you can select the file and you can come to this page and just run it. So that's how you create a method in a little more than two minutes. Still pretty good. If you have an idea for a video that you'd like to see, leave a comment below and we'll see if we could do that one for you. Thanks so much.